she giving me she giving me like miss mabel like yeah definitely miss mabel <laughs> It's your girl Newly, and I'm back with another video. I've missed y'all and I'm excited to make more videos. Today we're going to be transforming this pixie wig that I got off Amazon for literally like eight bucks. So if you are new here, hello, my name is Anuli and I am a fashion content creator. I also do DIYs that are all fashion based as well as a few wigs here and there. So yeah, I hope y'all enjoy and definitely stay for the ride. Also y'all comment down below if you have any crazy wigs that you want me to transform or also clothing pieces too because I'm doing a whole series on just transforming some not so cute looking things into really cute looking things. I'm gonna link all the details in the description box down below. So if you wanna see how I transform this wig, keep on watching and of course don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as that follow and like, follow and like, and comment down below. And yeah, y'all, this, this joint is, is grabbing, it's clutching onto my skull for dear life. It's kind of tight, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like I have a small head, but I don't, so. <laughs> so we're gonna start off with the dye. Um, I think I'm gonna go with jet black because, black power, but I definitely think I'm gonna go with jet black because I just love how that looks um, on my skin. This is like a 1B, and I think I've moved past the whole like natural color um, hair, which, I mean, yeah, my hair is 1B, but like, why not just go black? I see the vision. It already kind of has the look that I'm going for, which is like micro, like baby bangs and all that. But I just do not like how short the flaps are, the little ear tabs. And I mean, it definitely is due to the fact that I have a large head, but, but I definitely want to like carry them down just like an inch or so. Definitely give it some layers, some layerage. Cut the bangs a little tiny bit shorter, but more so like blunt. So before we run to the store, let's see what we already have because I'm trying to make sure, you know, we, we sustainable up in here and use what we already have so that we can save money because we're trying to make this as cheap as possible because we cheap over here. Here I have the wig on my wig stand. I'm gonna add hair to the side a little bit longer so it doesn't seem so like short and you know, short and stout. So I'm probably gonna take some wefts out of this um, human hair wig that I have. Um, I'm gonna use this for another project anyway so I don't mind taking out some wefts from it and then I'm just gonna borrow that and sew it in, maybe glue it in because I'm lazy. But first and foremost, I am going to dye this jet black. So yeah, I'm gonna dye both of these jet black and then attach the wefts and then start the cutting from that. Um, I'm using the Kiss Colors Semi-Permanent um, Jet Black, yeah, this one. And I'm probably just gonna have to use like one bottle since it's just like a super small wig. Okay, so here it is after we dyed it jet black. So looking pretty good. Nice and midnight, we love that. And also here are the smaller pieces that we're gonna be attaching. So I'm gonna go ahead and dry these guys off and then we're gonna attach them. Okay. 
So I'm also gonna use a little bit of this wrapping lotion or the styling foam. Add this on there so that while I'm blow drying, it doesn't dry it out too much. And this also, I'm gonna probably reapply this later on because it also works really well with styling. And now I'm gonna go ahead and just comb through gently, ever so gently. So next I'm gonna take my needle and thread and I'm going to attach these pieces, the sideburn pieces, and just go ahead and add that hair on and then I'm gonna go in and cut. Okay, and so as you can see, I only have a single thread just so that it's not gonna be too bulky when we sew in the hair because I am gonna layer these guys. I don't know if y'all can see this, but where we see the ear tabs, I'm gonna attach them there because that's where the sideburns are. Um, so basically, I'm just gonna hide it within the wefts. Find your ear tabs and then just separate some hair out and then sew it in between the wefts. So as you can see, it's already much longer and actually we might not even need this piece. Um, but I do wanna kind of see, so I am gonna just go ahead and sew it in and then we're gonna cut anyway. So if it is too bulky, we'll get rid of that anyway, so. Y'all, I look a mess right now, so just ignore the fact that I look really tired. This is about where I want it, because it's going to like, kind of flow like that. I think, I might cut it shorter, who knows. But, now I'm gonna work on the sideburns. We're just going to chop off some of the hair. All right, y'all, so basically what I'm doing here is I'm just kind of cutting through layers. Um, so I'm just kind of, you know, randomly just cutting off uh, like shorter pieces at the top and then just sort of keeping like the bang area um, long. So I hope that makes sense. I'm basically just like cutting layers. That's pretty much it. And then just fashioning it, you know, how I like it. And once I kind of have this sort of short, you know, pixie look going on, I then take this, I think it's called like a three tenths flat iron like a needle nose flat iron I'll link it down below the one I'm using um, I got this off of Amazon but pretty much I'm just curling inwards and then I do do a few curls outwards too just to kind of add a little bit of like you know some cuteness some depth to it um, but it's so simple y'all and you pretty much just fashion it how you like it and uh, yeah I just curled pretty much everything inward and then just added a few little outward curls as you can see on the top. All right, y'all. So this is the finished product. We're looking real cute. I am so excited. I'm so happy that this turned out just exactly how I wanted it to and I love the little swoop de doops that I put in. Um, yeah, let me make sure y'all can see. Oh, shawty. Y'all, I did a good job, if I do say so myself.
<laughs> so I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you do try it at home. I will link down below in the description the, the link to the wig um, so that you can purchase this for yourself. And when I bought it, y'all, it was $8. So I don't know if it's, it's you know the same price or if it's still available, but I will be putting the description or I will be putting the wig in the description so you can purchase it. Um, and hopefully it's around the same price, if not the same price already. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. And yeah, stay tuned for more wig transformations and more clothing. So yeah, let me know in the comments down below if there are any other looks that you want me to recreate um, and like any wigs that you want me to transform. And I hope to hear from you soon and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.